All right, this is workout A from TT Addiction. I hope that you're gonna, I know you're gonna like this one and get addicted to it totally because it's a lot of fun. It really is. Now our first superset is gonna do something that we've never done in turbulence training before. And we're gonna do the five by five method here in the first superset with a pair of classic, classic exercises, the deadlift and the bench press. Now, of course, this is clearly a perfect world setup. So if you can't do deadlifts and bench presses, instead of the deadlift, you can do barbell row, dumbbell row, or Romanian deadlift. So any of those, uh, dumbbell Romanian deadlift as well, or even dumbbell squat, or you can do dumbbell chest press for in place of the bench press. So if you only have one barbell and you want to choose between the two, I would say go with the deadlift and then do dumbbell chest presses. Now you're also going to want to use a weight that allows you to do 10 to 12 repetitions per exercise in the very first time you do it. So we're going to be doing five sets of five. You need to be able to complete all five sets of five repetitions with the same weight in order to improve, to uh, continue on to, and increase the weight next time. If you can't get that, then you've chosen a weight that's too heavy for the very first workout. So be very conservative. You can bench press 135 pounds 12 times. That's what you're gonna use for your five sets of five. And trust me, by the end, it's gonna be difficult to get those five repetitions, even when you choose that 10 to 12 repetition. And that's conservative. Now. You know, I would probably, if I was doing it, use something, I would do eight repetitions, and that way it would be a real challenge in the last set. But I want you to be conservative in the first time you go through it, and again, choose a weight that you can do 10 to 12 times for your five sets of five, okay? And then next week you'll be able to add a little bit of weight. So again, first exercise is some version of the deadlift. So deadlift, Romanian deadlift, Romanian deadlift with dumbbells, uh, dumbbell row, which isn't necessarily the same as a deadlift, but barbell row is another one that you can do. So we'll just show you the uh, original pairing first. So we're gonna get in that deadlift position, so get that bar close to your legs. You're gonna push your hips back until you can grab that bar. Look forward onto the ground about like that, and then pull that bar up, keeping it close to your body. Slowly lower it down, keeping close to your body to that same position. Drop it down, reset, and pull. And back down. Squeeze your glutes and pull. And we're going to do all our five repetitions there. Then rest a minute. Get set up on the bench press. Again, you'll either need a perfect world setup of two barbells or you'll need to do dumbbell chest presses here probably if you're gonna do the deadlift. So get your shoulder blades stuck together, lift the bar off the rack, and what I want you to do in the bench press that's gonna be different from your regular bench press is to squeeze the bar and to really pull it apart as you lower it down. It's really gonna put a lot more stress on your tricep, but that's what I want you to do. So control that bar, squeeze it, and then drive up there after you've done your fifth repetition. So again, if you can't do the deadlift, if you're not comfortable doing the deadlift exercise, you can do a barbell row instead. So bent over barbell row. Now what you could do is if you had a power rack, you can move the bench, do your deadlifts, and then, might be a little high to get it up there, but you could uh, maybe shrug it up onto that, or again, instead of that, we would just do dumbbell chest presses instead of the bench press. So, one of the other exercises you can do instead of the deadlift is a regular dumbbell row. And then instead of the regular bench press, of course, we can do dumbbell chest presses. So press up and in, lower down and out, press up and in, lower down and out. Okay, so either way, we want to get in two classic exercises 
five sets of five for each, one minute rest, sorry, one minute rest between each. I'm going to fall all over the place here. One minute rest between each, and you're going to go through that. Again, using a weight, you can do 10 to 12 times. Don't be a hero in the first workout and try and do a weight that you can only do six reps. You're going to get down to three reps after set two or three, okay? And the cool thing is, if you're doing a weight you can do about 10 times, the first set's actually going to feel like a little sluggish and you're going to wonder why you're so weak. Second set, you're going to feel strong. Third set, you'll probably peak and it'll just blow right up. And then fourth set and fifth set, you'll get a little bit of fatigue. Maybe in the fifth set, it'll be a struggle to get that last fifth repetition. Then next week, you can add you know, five to 10% more weight. And you're really gonna like switching back and forth between the press and the pull. It's an awesome, addictive first superset for this workout. All right, so you just cranked through five sets of five in the press and the deadlift or row or whatever. Now you're gonna do lower body and abdominal superset. So we're going to start with the barbell lunge, so set the bar up at chest height. Of course you can also do this with dumbbell lunges, it's fine. Your grip is going to be a little bit shot from the deadlift. So I'm going to show you, obviously if I was doing this at home, I'd back and step forward. But we're going to do barbell lunge, stepping out, drive up. Wall reps for one side first, get a nice strong step, drive up, and then we'll switch over to the other side. So as soon as you step, you stop the forward motion, drop the hips straight down, and drive up. So after we've done both sides, then we're gonna do a weird little exercise for the abs, side plank, dumbbell lateral raise. So you work deltoids quite a bit, probably more than you're gonna work your abs in this one, but it's a tough two exercise. So plank, dumbbell lateral raise up to the top, slowly lower down. This is muscle sore in the eccentric, Slowly lower down, and you're gonna feel quite a bit in your obliques as you normally do a side plank, okay? So you do reps for one side, so we go all reps for the other. Then repeat that two more times. All right, so workout is really front with a lot of work, okay? In that first set of five, it's a fair amount of time to get through that because you're resting a minute between one A and one B a minute before repeating that. Get into that superset, lunges, and side plank. Then you're gonna finish off with some arm stuff, because that's addictive to almost everybody. It seems. So we're gonna start with barbell. Six to eight repetitions. Probably best arm exercises because it's just so basic. Knees bent, abs braced, hips back, curling the weight up, slowly down, power up, and control down. So the soreness comes from the eccentric motion. So we'll do all reps there. Then we're gonna go into another classic dumbbell tricep extension. Leaning back, or sorry, getting back so that the head is just about at the end of the bench. That's going to allow you to lower the dumbbells beside your head and then a little extra stretch and that actually stretches your abdominals and you'll get a contraction of the abdominals on the way up. So I get a real strong stretch here by pushing my hips up and then contract the abs. So you'll actually get sore abdominals from the lying tricep extension with that extra little stretch. And then to throw in one more little thing into this finishing circuit that's different is we're gonna go into the close grip, three quarter push ups, and go one repetition short of failure. And now you might think that's gonna ruin your performance when you come around to the extensions again, but for some reason it just doesn't. You'll fatigue your triceps with the body weight here, but by the time you get back to the dumbbell extensions, they'll be strong again. So. Hands under the shoulders, body in a straight line, elbows tucked in, all the way down, three quarter of the way up. Always keeping tension on the triceps. So, you know, you'll get a real good pump in the arms after you've done the presses, the deadlifts, really a great total body workout, but your upper body is gonna love it. And so that is the very first addiction workout with the main focus being improving those five sets of five every week. So you wanna make sure that you hit them five by five, you dominate the weights, and don't let the weights dominate you. So that's it for workout A. No interval training, we'll see you in workout B.